All right, as requested by gaming all day, we have the tap L thumbnail pack. Yes, it's a thing. Oh my gosh. So now you can make thumbnails like tap L, and it's easy. So, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make thumbnails like tap L. And of course, it comes with a free pack as usual because that's what I do. Okay, so first of all, we'll look through the pack, and then we'll get on to the actual tutorial. So, of course, we got the cover, hide this, we got assets, we got arrows, which I tried to do tap L style. I, th I think I did a pretty good job. We got GUIs, crafting table, hot bars, oh my gosh, it's crazy. We got an enchantment thingy. We got random assets that he used. We got a clock. There, there was nothing else. I couldn't find a single other thing that he's used besides a clock. We have different types of splitters. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop doing this like dumb reaction stuff. We got a color correction that I am so proud of this. I, I am so proud of this. This color correction took me so long to make, but it is perfect. It is a perfect replica of Tapel's color correction, and I am obsessed with it. We got fonts. Yeah, we got layer styles. We've even got skies, which kind of are a ton of gradients, but that's what a skies are. And text colors, woo, that was a pain to do. This was not fun to do. All right, now that I've showed off everything in the pack, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so the trick to doing Tapel's thumbnails is you gotta make it simple because these are some simple thumbnails. These probably take him like 10 minutes to make, or whoever makes them, I don't know who makes them, but these are very easy to make, and it's not going to take long. Okay, so let's start by opening up Minecraft. Okay, so in Minecraft, we want to make sure we have the custom NPCs mod. I'm pretty sure I've shown a tutorial on how to make that, or how to get this mod. If there isn't, you can watch literally any tutorial on how to download mods. It's just like downloading a normal mod. Alright, so once we're in Minecraft, we're going to join our world. So, most of Tapel thumbnails are made on a flat world. That's why I have this flat world. This is actually what I used to create a lot of my thumbnails in. And, um... But in this case, I don't have any ideas that could use a flat world and because I'm a Hypixel like Skywars player. I'm going to do a Skywars type thumbnail. So I'm going to try and do it in Tapel style. So it's be like Skywars, but I can't wear armor or something like that. That's, that's probably what we'll do. So I'm going to join a Skywars map. Let's just do Zarzel. I think that's how you pronounce that. It's a strange map. Yeah. I forgot I had Pixelmon installed. We don't worry about that. That, this is a Bad Wars map. All right, here we are in the world. So you're just gonna go into game mode one if you aren't already. I'm gonna throw away all this random stuff. This just came with it when I downloaded the map. But yeah, here we are in our Sky Wars map. So there are a few tricks to making them look like tap bell thumbnails. And one of them is actually pretty new to me, but I figured out how to do it recently. I'm gonna do it right here because this is a good flattish spot, I guess. The, there's a lot of green we want to keep a lot of green in the thumbnail okay yeah, all right so we're gonna get our npc wand as usual and i'm just gonna do a quick pose um usually just a running pose i'll just use should we use tap L skin or should we use mine let's just use mine um and because uh, i'm sure you've heard this a million times but i have a three pixel arm skin and custom npcs does not support three pixel arms so we're gonna get this which we can fix in photoshop that's what we usually do so yeah, just don't mind that. So I think this pose is alright. And because this is Minecraft but I can't wear armor, I'm not gonna give him armor, I'm just gonna give him a I had to relog because the Pokemon were killing me. They, the sounds are constant and it's really annoying. Okay, so this part's optional, but I like to use this texture pack, which is just the uh, updated textures, but for an older version of Minecraft, because I think it looks a lot better than the older textures. So I just like to turn that on. You can see now we got new Minecraft textures, but for 1.12 and it actually looks better. Okay, so now here's the trick to making it look like Tapel. You want to make the biome you're in jungle. So the way to do that is you need to have world edit installed. You want to do slash slash wand. You have your wand, right? And take a block, any block, it does not matter. We're going to create like an area that we want to be jungle. So just in this kind of square, I'm going to hit this. And I'm going to right click the other side and you're going to do slash slash set biome to jungle. I think this is already jungle and then it's going to tell you to rejoin your world. So I'm just going to go 
save and quit rejoin and yeah because this map is already jungle um, you won't see a difference but if you didn't have a jungle already it's gonna look completely different to be way more green which is how we want it now that we've got our scene set up I'm just gonna break this glass in the background because you will be able to see this. I don't want it there. All right, so now, of course, we're gonna go to options, FOV, set it to 30, and we're going to line up our shot. So this isn't the most perfect posing, obviously. I could probably do better. You know what, I am gonna do better. This is actually annoying. All right, so once you've got your scene set up like this, I'm just gonna press F2 to take a screenshot. All right, so once you open this up, mine is probably gonna look a little bit different than yours because I do use Windows 11, not Windows 10 anymore. Um, yeah, Photos app does look a tiny bit different. You want to right click, copy, and we're gonna put this in a new Photoshop document that is 1920 by 1080. And you control V to paste our screenshot in, delete the background layer, and here we have our thing. All right, so our first thing we need to do is get the character selected outside of the uh, background layer, because as you can see, this is one layer. I want them as two layers. And my favorite way to do this is the object selection tool. Make sure you have all of these settings on, including lasso, because lasso makes it a little bit more accurate. And all you want to do is just go like this around your character. It doesn't have to be perfect, because most likely it'll do pretty perfect by itself. And you just want to let go give it a minute and okay that that turned out terrible what the what what that turned out terrible okay so we're gonna have a little bit of cleaning up to do so i'm just gonna deselect all of this garbage over here All right, so I've cleaned up my selection a little bit. It's still not perfect. There's a little bit more I could do, but it's not that important, and you're not gonna notice it from when you're actually seeing the thumbnail on YouTube. So now I'm just gonna go Control J, and that will take the selection and put it on a new layer, as you can see here. All right, so now I'm gonna fix this little black bit on my arm because it does look a little bit weird, and it's not gonna be the most perfect fix ever, but I'm just gonna take the color next to it, and I'm just gonna have this layer selected, go to our paint bucket, make sure the tolerance is somewhere around 10, opacity 100, and make sure these settings are all here. And you just want to click once, and it should do a pretty good job of making that look better. I think it looks a lot better, actually. All right, so now we got this. Now I'm gonna to go to our background layer, and then I'm gonna get our magic wand tool, and turn off contiguous. Now there's a easier way to do this if you have a Adobe Photoshop CC 2021, but I think a lot of you guys are using an older version of Photoshop, um, like CS6 or something, so some of this stuff might not work. So I'm showing a different method that I would normally use. So you just want to, with your magic wand tool, make sure your contiguous is off. I pronounce that terribly, contiguous. I think that's how you pronounce that. You want to click once, and that should get the entire sky, as you can see here. Press delete, and there we go. So now we have no longer have a sky. I'm just gonna go ahead and get one from our pack over here. I'll get this one because I think it looks the best. Copy, paste, and now we have our sky in there. Much better looking, not gonna lie. All right, next we'll add our CC. So we'll take our CC over here, copy, paste it above everything, do that. And as you can see, that gives it a way brighter, happier look. Look at that. Off, on, off, on, much better. Next, we're gonna apply our layer style to our character. And we have our layer styles over here. I'm gonna hide this so we can actually see. So this one right here is for our characters and stuff, and this one's for like arrows and all that. I didn't really think I need to include this, but I did it anyway, just in case you guys wanted it. So I'm gonna go copy layer style and paste it onto our character. And there we go. It does look a little bit weird close up, but this is actually how Tapout does it. I tried to get it as exact as possible, and I think it turned out pretty good. All right, now Tapout does text very differently than most people. The way he does it is he takes an enchantment border of all things. So I'm gonna go into our GUIs, take the enchantment thing, paste it over here, and now we have this. So like I was saying, he does his text usually inside of an enchantment thing. I, I have no idea why. It does look cool though. It is unique, which I do like. But yeah, it is quite different. So 
I'm going to go ahead and also grab some text colors over here. So we're just gonna open up this. Like at one point, use this rainbow one. In this case, I'll use like this color pink because it does look cool. So I'll just copy that, paste it over here. And then this is just editable text. You just use Minecraft, you have fun. We can make this look, we can make it say whatever you want. So we'll make it say no armor. That's great. I guess it's like nothing else to write there. And then I'll take our white text over here, paste that over here as well, and I'll make it say, you can't wear armor. This is a terrible video idea. No one would ever make this an actual thing, but you know, I'm not the video ideas person, okay? I'm not the person to ask for that. Okay, so just second thought, I just had this idea. I think it might be cool. If I go into my Minecraft textures, grab a diamond chest plate, put this over here, I'm going to rasterize it, and then when we resize it, make sure you have nearest neighbor selected, and then I'm going to just upscale it a bunch, like this, so it doesn't get blurry, as you can see. Add this layer style to it, and then I'm going to reposition all this, maybe under this, and then you'll see, trust the process, guys, trust the process, it's gonna look good, I promise you. And then Tapel doesn't do this, but because the text is long, I am gonna make this text down here a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna right click on this effects icon, scale effects, I'm gonna lower this by like 50 degrees. So it's like, no, maybe 75, yeah, 75 looks better. So now it's like that. And then I'll just move this a bit, increase the size just a bit. And I'll move this no armor thing to the side a tiny bit. All right, and then I like to add this layer style also to the enchantment thing and now we've got our text thing set up now of course this isn't where I'm going to keep it positioned I am going to move it but this is this is it all set up so I'm just going to put this all in a group so I can move it as one because it's just easier and I'm going to put this and move this around put it rotate a tiny bit probably cover the feet a little I'll probably cover the feet just a tiny bit because you do have to cover some things depending on how you set up the thumbnail. And then finally, we'll grab an arrow from the pack. All right, and lastly, we'll grab an arrow from the pack. I'll probably use this one. I think it will fit good. And I'll just move it under our group over here. Rotate this, resize it. And there we go. All right, and lastly, to make this a little bit less boring up in this corner, because it is kind of empty, we can add a sun. Tapo rarely does this, but we can do it sometimes. It looks okay. And in this case, I think it will look okay because there's a lot of empty space here. And the way he does his suns is it's it's actually just a white square. That's it. So we're gonna go to a rectangle. Mark, mark, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not gonna try. And then we're just gonna hold shift it's gonna create a perfect square. We can resize this later, so just create it like that, and then paint it white. And then we have a sun, and then you just wanna rotate it a little bit, like that, and there we go. And it's, what's funny is because it's just a white square, you'd think it looks weird, but no, it, it actually looks like the Minecraft sun. All right, and there we go. There's our thumbnail. I think that's done, and um, yeah. I think it looks good. All right, and before I end the video, I just wanna say if you guys have any more ideas or suggestions, please leave them down in the comments because I do want to make more stuff like this because I'd really enjoy doing it for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.